what is up guys this is infinite flash here today i'm going to be playing a guy called kapan Ninzo. oh no oh no why am i playing the dutch Ugh. because i'm stuck with this defense for my whole life that's why i'm playing this defense yeah 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 let's go for this variation of d5 i'm not gonna lie guys i don't know too much theory about this position but whatever it is whatever the theory is i have a good I think I have a good idea what the setup should be. Hmm. G3. Weird. Did not even know that was a move. Okay. Um, clearly E6 cannot be bad. Bishop G2 probably. What's your idea? After this G3 pawn push, I wonder. Hmm. Um, okay. Let's see. Probably bishop d6 or c6. Which one? I mean, it's all good. I mean, probably just bishop d6, right? Ah, oh, whatever. c6, it doesn't matter what move order. Bishop g2. Well, this bishop on g5 and knight on c3 is really strange for the setup. That's why I'm saying that this is a little bit fishy. Um, now I think black is really just totally fine in this position. Um, he didn't let me go into a Leningrad, but I don't mind playing a stone wall. I'm quite experienced in this position, so I don't feel uncomfortable at all here. Um, so knight e5, that was expected. And now let's develop this other stupid looking knight right here to the d7 square, right? Hmm. That's not so easy to play, actually. I wonder, there's a huge amount of ideas. This knight on c3 is not ideally placed, so one idea that you can expect is just probably just bringing the knight back in c4. Um, I can go c5 in this position. That's not that bad. Let's see, though. h6. Bishop takes f6. Queen takes f6. f4. And then bishop d7. I mean, that's very, very solid for, for, uh, for, for white. Um, but that's certainly fine for black as well. I've got the bishops, and maybe I can go for a kingside attack then. As ridiculous as that sounds. Um, alright, I'm wasting time here. Let's just play it. You might just go for the structural transformation with f4. Uh, I'm such a bad blitz player, guys. I know, I know. It's okay. I know I'm bad. Okay, queen e8. Let's play a little bit faster. I don't know. This can't be so terrible. Queen h5, and... Okay, he's going to play e3, right? And make his bishop bad. Or f3. Wow. Uh, no doubt that... Okay, well, anyways, guys, I know what this uh, what to do in this position. The move that black really has to play in this position is actually this c5 pawn break and now I mean now I can bring the knight to c6 so black is really just fine in this position I think uh, we've got also the b5 square covered in this position to make sure that this knight doesn't come here and attacks my bishop so I'm okay with that right now I'm just making this pawn really really weak and I'm just going to keep on developing my pieces here knight b5 is now my play this should be a um, I probably can even capture an e5 that's mm, not good actually never mind I won't do that um, Knight b5, bishop b8 is just fine. Knight b5, bishop b8, c4. I'm thinking that this is totally fine for black. Um, ooh, wait. Um, yeah, I think this is just fine. Take c5, takes there, so I can probably just capture here with the pawn. He's got to go c4 if he wants to make sense of this position, but... I mean, with this f3 move in, I mean, it's just not a good stone wall for him. His bishop's really bad in this position. It's on the wrong square. Um, now I'm threatening to capture this knight right over here, so he's got to play f4. And now we will actually just capture... Mm, play a6, right? Play a6. Mm. Now he's got to go back to the knight to a3. a3 is the only square that makes sense in this position to allow the c4 pawn break. If he goes knight c3, I'm just totally satisfied in this position. I can also capture with the queen here. Um, that is not that bad. 
Yeah, I don't think the queen is that bad, actually. My queen doesn't really serve a purpose on the king side. I've got to play in the center in this position. That's what matters. Um, I could have also taken the knight. I don't know how bad or how good that was either, but um, right now his bishop is just so bad in this position. And, you know, now I can expand on the queen side. I've just got to worry about a move like e4 or something coming to the c4 square due to this long diagonal, so b5. And now we've got to make some progress here. Maybe b4, but I like my position a lot. It's like a French, but with the f5 pawn break here and, uh, for black. That's very, very nice, really. Okay, and I have a few plans here I can try. I can go with this bishop d7 move or bishop b7. Probably bishop d7 is better. And the idea is just to rear up this bishop to the h5 square, where, you know, black is very satisfied in this position. Um, I think black is doing quite all right. Um, yeah, let's just rear up this bishop, get get it out of there. He's going to play knight e2, and I'm thinking I probably should go bishop a7. He's going to play bishop f3 here, I think, too. Wow, wow, I did not expect that at all. I didn't. I can't believe. Oh, I see his threat. Okay, very, very nice. Um, Let's see, bishop h5, d takes c5, bishop b4, queen e3, right. Well, that should be fine. d takes c5 is not threatening because of queen c5. And, I mean, bishop b4 is not possible because it's queen e3, so I don't see the big deal. You're allowing bishop h5 for basically no uh, particular reason. And this kind of structure is just totally fine for black. I can now bring the bishop either to the d6 square or the a7 square. Probably d6 uh, makes more sense in this position. If he goes b3, then I'm going c4. That's just better for black, I think, that position. Position is very pleasant for black here. Maybe I'll go b4, c4 now, actually. He's just going to end up with a really bad bishop here. So far, I've played this strategically okay, it looks like. Um, wow, c4, that just... Not gonna lie, that just drops a pawn, doesn't it? Can I just capture here? Oh, he can take with the rook. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, I didn't realize that that was possible. Hmm. Okay. Um. Right. Um. Probably just takes right in. Let's attack the b pawn here after rook c4, queen c4. Wow. Um, no doubt I did not even see that move. Okay, let's just go to rook c8 and support my queen and play queen b6 next. He's going to move his queen now and I'll push c4 I think and have a good light squared control here. I really like my position. It's just the time is always just the terrible problem for me. Let's see, queen b5 is looking like a potentially a nice move. I'm not the greatest player ever when it comes to strategic when it comes to strategic chess guys, so forgive me if I tend to drop my pieces a lot. I do that a lot. Okay. Um let's see. I mean I really like my position. I can't say that enough. Wow. A4. Whoa. That looks like a that's just a horrible looking move, um, because it weakens the b4 square so much in this position, and I, I really like it when people give me their b4 squares uh, and queen's gambit kind of structures. What should he do though? I'm not really sure. I might double on the c file in this position. I don't mind a trade of the knight versus this knight for that bishop. I don't mind that, but still I've got a good pieces in the center and I should be slightly better in this position. This bad bishop is very, very uncomfortable in protecting the c3 pawn. I've got a lot of pressure on d4, and he's got to really react, so maybe bishop c3. Um, but after bishop c3, I just probably just take, right? And um, I mean, I can play a5 and bishop b4. That doesn't look so bad. He plays a5 himself. Okay. Go queen b5. Keep the pressure on. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder.
I wonder about this position. Maybe let's see the captures on d4, queen c8. Eh, whatever. I don't know. Let's play a prophylactic move. Um, just to gain a little bit of time. I can take on d4. I'm threatening that. I might go for this position uh, with the two rooks versus the queen, and he has a lot of pawns weak in this kind of position. I'm not sure about the consequences of it though. Um, Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to allow this this pawn to go away from e3. So if I think I'll probably go with um Oh man, I, I don't know. It's hard to say what's going to go on in this position. Maybe just c4 and close down the queen side. Try to build up some pressure on the d2 pawn. That is a very reasonable plan. Bishop b4 was already a move and I just completely ignored it. Um I mean, 94 was already possible, but whatever. Now I'm threatening bishop a5, so he's really got to react to this. Not sure what he's doing, but I'm just taking the pawn. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think he's just dropping them. You know, he can't do much about it. Let's just take there. Okay. Yeah, let's just hmm. we have a pass pawn here, and this is very nice, but I just I don't know, my my structure doesn't feel safe. Let's go here. I want to go into this queen versus uh queen and knight versus that uh endgame situation. Sorry about that. Let's see, e takes um Oh crap, wait, g takes, I have to take with the g pawn, I can't take with the a pawn because of rook g6, rook g6, queen f5. Okay. Um, so if he takes with g, I probably have to take with g. And at least, man, I probably, I wish I had my knight on f6, so. He'll trade out both pieces in queen g2, okay. Um, yeah, okay. What about this position, though? Okay, let's go here. I'm pretty sure that's not that bad. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Okay, let's go here. Let's hope that's defending things, and it looks like it will. Ah oh, man, I just dropped the game. Dang it. Bishop a4, queen b7, bishop takes d6. Um, it was just basically nothing in this position for either color. Ugh. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay. It almost looks like a self-made, right? Uh, you don't want to allow that. That's just a total draw. I can't do that. Okay, I could have probably just stalemated there, right? Oh, why did I allow that? That was stupid. Okay, but it's just a draw. Yeah. All right, let's just draw this guy. Yeah, now he can't penetrate, so I can run to the king's side. I don't care about that. Wow. Uh, let's see if I can get anything. Probably not, right? King here. Yeah, I'm probably actually getting at this pawn. Wow, I can't believe I did that. Wow, very unlucky, very, very unfortunate for him. I don't think he really cared about this queen side that much. Um, he's low on time, but 
I mean, yeah, I mean, that's just a disappointing loss for him. Um, yeah, I mean, I just got lucky in this king and pawning game. It's just totally drawn, right? Ugh. Yeah, I mean, this is just to totally drawn. Okay, let's see where I messed up. Ugh, the black just totally wins in this position, and I just screwed this up so much. Here, here, maybe something, somewhere around here. I'm making my mistake. I, I don't have the help of an engine at the moment, but I can guarantee you that this is a win for black somewhere here. Maybe knight e4 is the proper move, but the only reason I didn't do this is I was, I'm afraid of this kind of structure from happening. Um, although this is a very, very solid. Mm -hmm. Queen b3 comes, and, and I don't know, I mean, that's just very solid for, for black. Just push the a pawn, and that's a good position for black. Um, white, black, white can do basically nothing in here. He takes, takes, and probably drop back the queen with rook g8, and I can play this position position on for ages with the a pawn. Um, I wonder if f takes is possible. Is, this may be better actually. Um, the idea is to close down the center entirely, and white doesn't really want to push h5 because of uh, g5 because of h5, and I don't know. He has to prefer f5 somehow. Uh, maybe queen f2. And you know here. Um, you know, white's gonna have to push f5 and I'll be, I'm already ready to meet this. Yeah, I think this is the best decision, the best, uh, uh, continuation for black. Ugh. But yeah, this was a very, very nice slow and outplay of, uh, white's position here. I'm not sure what this guy was doing. He was just, um, just playing really weird moves. Um, I just played c4 at the right moment. I guess I don't, the thing is, I don't want to allow this structure when something is on the e-file now, and I'd have to play knight e4 and go into this kind of structure, or the d-pawn takes. No, actually, I can't take with the d-pawn because white's going to have d5 eventually with this bishop right here. Um, probably takes, and... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe black's, black's probably good here anyway, but, I mean, why allow that? Black doesn't deserve that. White doesn't deserve that. I was wondering about the consequences of uh, this position. Let's see if he makes a wasteful move. Let's see this con the consequences of this position. Queen b2 is very, very unclear stuff, right? I mean, this is really dangerous. This is very, very dangerous. He has to go bishop c1. And well, maybe queen b7 and just take the pawn, right? Not so sure. Hmm. Very, very unclear. Well, anyways, so let's start a new game. Um, just went back to the beginning of the game. I don't know. While I'm waiting for a new game, let's see what happens. Yeah, this is just bad play, by the way. I don't, I don't think this is a good move at all. Bishop d2, what a strange move. I mean, the taking here is just fine for white. That position, this position is just totally fine for white. Bishop d7 here, here is very equal. So, I mean, white's, white really wishes this knight was on d2 and has the knight, this pawn were coming to c4. That's why this variation isn't, um, played this way. You can't, play the stone wall this way. He's got to play uh, instead of g3, bishop takes up 6, e takes e3, if I recall correctly, bishop e6, um, bishop d3, knight c6, knight g e2, queen d7, knight f4, or is it bishop d6 first? I can't remember. Yeah, bishop d6 first. Er, I have such a bad memory. There's also queen f3 in this position. And then knight g e2, castles or something. There's even g5 in this kind of position. Um, the king will not go flying to e a4 though. Um, maybe maybe this one. I'm not sure about the position though. Maybe black. I think black's okay in these type of positions though. Um, well, anyways, guys, uh, let's see why is. I'm, I'm gonna pause the recording until we get another game. All right, guys, I'm playing someone very very strong now. Um, Rorotonio, interesting. Let's play my birds opening. I like playing f4. It's very, very fun. Um, I'm going to be playing this for a while now. Hopefully, uh, in uh, actual tournament practice.
Okay, let's just get some kind of non-theoretical opening going here. Um, yeah, Black can play a billion things here. And I just don't care what he does. Okay, here we go. Just I think this is an English opening reverse, a Sicilian, close Sicilian, in fact. D3, C5, E4 is a closed Sicilian, I think. And, hmm. I mean, I don't know any of the theory, but I played anyway. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's going for knight c6, e4, right, right. And then there's this line with e5, um, f5, g takes, knight h4, right? That was a line, I think. Um, what's the idea of knight f, knight f d7, I wonder? Hmm. Not really sure. Uh, F5 maybe. That's that's very plausible. Let's see, D4, F5, E5. I really want to play E5. So D5, D4, E5 is interesting. Um, let's see, D4, E5, D5. I mean that that's very very nice for very nice for white. D4. Is very very nice for for white. I'm not sure what the idea of knight f6 was, but this idea with this d5 move um, is going to be a very nice position for white, I think. Okay, now I can choose between this knight g5 move, certainly, or I can just capture the knight actually. Um, I don't want to capture the knight. I want to take it away with c3. That feels much more natural in this position. Um, hmm. Um, hmm. Let's see, f takes is clearly not good because the knight f3, bishop f3, and knight e5 just that's better for black then. Very bad positional play if I did that. Like I don't, I don't know. Um, I could go c3. That's very solid. Let's see, c3, knight takes f3, bishop takes f3, f5. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go for it. Looks like a bunch of fun. Okay, um, I don't, I don't know the the benefits of just capturing here in this f4 square. I might just capture with my pawn right here. Um, I mean, f5 just looks totally natural. Oh, I just realized that he's gonna play f5 after g takes. So, yeah, I, I basically have to take, and he's gonna play f5 here. Dang! Wow. That is not a good position for me. Ugh. I'm not sure why you didn't play f5 though. f5 is just better for black. Um, queen d3 feels natural. Queen e1. Queen e1, e5. Right. Right. Probably knight d2. I need to cover this pawn like crazy right now. It's important that I'm blunting this bishop right here in the g7 square. Um, I'm not really sure what blacks. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not doing well in this position. Oh my god, don't like my position. There's just too many weaknesses. Not as well as I thought I would have turned out this opening. But okay, we can still play on. It's not so terrible. Probably just a bit better for black. But let's see. The reason why black is better is because I've weakened a lot of my squares and the total the, the entire structure is just weak for black and it doesn't feel right to me um and then a five maybe yeah 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 whatever queen c2 bishop h3 rook f2 is something i'm not really afraid of maybe I'm not really sure what to say about this position. I really need to open it up for the, my bishop here. I want to go e5 at some point, but probably not there. That was a risky uh, pre-move. Lol, lol, lol. Oh my god. I am getting absolutely pulverized here with this annoying queen move. Probably just drop back the bishop to protect the queen side and play knight f3 next turn, right? Oh my god, my position is just not fun. 
What I need to do is play B4 at some point. Get rid of this pesky knight. Get the heck out of here. My god, it's so annoying. B4, bishop B3, bishop B2. That would be nice. B4, knight A6. Yeah, he got that in. Dang it. Yep. Yeah, he got that one in. Let's see, knight f3, queen g4. It's just just not a good position for for white. Is there anything I can do here? This position, I know it sucks, but come on, give me some advice. Ugh. God, this position is just ugh. knight f3. I mean, this queen is running on squares, but like after knight f3, I have to go e5 and make a pawn sacrifice out of it. I mean, it's just not enough compensation for the pawn there. But maybe I have to do it. I don't know. I mean, I, it's just not a very good position, and I don't know. If I don't do this, then it's just like, what am I, what am I doing otherwise? So, I mean, let's just sack a pawn and hopefully I get good compensation, right? I mean, there's no way he's not going to take now, right? So he's got to take here. And then I take with my f pawn, bishop takes, knight takes, rook takes, bishop f4 is the idea. And I was hoping that this would be very, very decent compensation. Um, with these nice pawns in the center. And also, what's very important is that I'm not letting him... I don't know, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's very important I'm not letting this light squared bishop become very active in this kind of position. Like coming to the h3 square. He could have done that earlier, I mean, I was a little bit worried about that, but he didn't. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't like this move. This position actually for Black. The more I look at it, Bishop F4 comes, and he's got Rook E2 now. That I notice it. That is not very friendly. That is not the friendliest move ever to do with. Uh Why? Why did I do this to myself? Let's see, Bishop F3. Bishop F3 is interesting. Bishop F4, Rook E2. Is that really working? Very close to not working. Uh, what the heck? Uh, I mean, bishop f3 is just good, right? The queen is slightly short on squares right now. And now bishop f4 next, right? Okay. Um, I mean, I could go for the queen trade and go for the bishops, right? That's not that bad either. Notice that this pawn on c7 is always hanging, so I probably could get could get some decent compensation. I don't know what he's thinking about. Queen Queen h4 is like the only move, right? Queen h okay, Queen h3, whatever. Um, not sure what he's thinking about, but this is pretty obvious, right? What's the idea? After Bishop f4, Rook e7. Then I'm playing d6 and opening up the entire position. I mean, you're gonna get blasted out in the center here. Maybe. I mean that 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 looks right, right? D six. Hmm. I not sure. I'm not sure. Um. I could play B four too. To uh, B four doesn't do that good actually. Okay, let's just go D six. It can't be that bad. I'm pretty sure he does not want to play c6 because I think I would go b4 and his position is a little bit weird. I'm pretty sure he has to take, right? I mean, I'm just opening up this position. So bishop d5 is already possible in this kind of position. That's one idea in this kind of position. Um, okay, he goes knight e4. Yeah, I mean, that that's... That's certainly a pawn that I can take, um, but he's activating his pieces, but whatever, I'll take it. Um, so I'm going to go bishop g2 to solidify my king a little bit. 
So this should be six. Maybe I shouldn't have let him activate. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. This should be six. That's a very very dangerous move if I take the take the knight. Probably just preserve it. Bishop d2. I'm not really sure what the entire position is about. Maybe I can play queen g2 actually. But this knight is certainly strong in this kind of position. Very very strong. It's a strong knight. The more I look at it, like queen b3 and bishop b5 just looks nicer and nicer. But I can't make it work ever. I don't know. I'll probably need to do a sack and exchange or something to make the position really, really worrisome for him. Let's go rook here. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care about my rook here. I, I like my activity here. That's that's much more important to me. Oh, it's checkmate there. Um, let's, okay, let's protect that. I'm not sure if I dropped here. Dang it, I just noticed the time too. That's a problem. Ugh, man, oh man. I have queen c4. That's one idea in this kind of position. I have queen c4. That's what I'm counting on. Um, I know that white is probably better in this position, but it's hard to prove, really. Yeah, I mean, that this is very, very nice. Queen c4 and queen f7 is very, very dangerous for him. I don't know if it, if this actually works. Probably it doesn't, right? Queen d4 is the other idea I had in mind. Yeah, and then that's checkmate. All right, guys. I got that. I got very lucky. Look at look how crappy this position was earlier. Um, notice that this is actually just a mate. There's nothing to do. There's nothing that can defend these squares twice. So he's got to go over there and queen g7 is just mate. Um, man, here here it just feels. I, I wanted to go rook d7, but this is just not working. Um, let's see bishop here here. Uh, queen g4 is probably good for black, right? Takes, takes. No, actually, never mind. It's good for white. Of course, it's good for white. Now, there should be a knockout blow here, though. Maybe the idea is bishop g2. Queen g4 and rook d7, maybe. Something like that. Bishop f1. This was the idea that I had. Queen here. In here. And there's a mate on g2 right now. Okay. Let's see, king f1. Yeah, I don't, I'm not t totally convinced that. Oh, wait, there's a queen f4 in this position. Dang. Okay. Well, I'm being oblivious to those things, right? No, that, that's not good for white then, right? I mean, rook h7 is probably the only move, and this kind of stuff is not good for white. Yeah, that's just not good for white. Okay. Very interesting stuff. I wanted, but of course, I got totally outplayed in the opening. I mean, I had to do this random pawn sec that I had here just to get a good game. I mean, that I, it should have, it shouldn't have been like that. My position was totally fine here. Um, this position is just nice. For nice for white. I'm just still wondering what happened here. What could I have done to improve? Maybe takes, takes, and f5 maybe. Takes knight h4. f4 maybe. It's very, very tricky business. Um, now that's very tricky for tricky for black. Not sure. I mean, you can also just take, and White's probably a little bit. White's probably satisfied with this position. Queen g4. I don't know. Bishop b4. This all this stuff looks very nice for White. Not sure what the comp says about this position. I mean, you can always think about Bishop here and this kind of position happening. And in fact, I'm dropping the. 
um, that I, I can't play a queen uh, queen h4 because of uh, g takes h4 because of rook g8. So I got to take with the queen, and I don't know. This position is what is this position? It's white's up a pawn, has the bishops, but his pawns are weak. Okay, but black, white's probably better, right? I mean, at worst, I could probably just take this knight eventually. So okay, white's better. Fine. Anyways, guys, I'm going to pause the game now to let's see if I can find another game. Alright, guys, this will be the final game for this session. We're going to play F4 again. Let's get the let's get the birds on again. Let's see if we can get a different opening on. Maybe this guy will play something else. Let's see. G6. D5, hopefully. D5. Play D5. Yes. There we go. I have to be a little bit careful, actually. But G3 is not that bad. G3, H5. H3 is okay, I think. No, I have to play d3 first. Okay, he's not going for that setup at all. Um, hey, you just saw my recording equipment. That's not cool. That, that's, that's not fun, guys. Oh, he's playing this setup. Ugh. Okay. You can already see my next move. Okay, let's see how this will go. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know the type of structure that's going to be happening here. He's got to play d4 now. Otherwise, I play e4. And, uh. Very strange, that move is very, very strange. Is that really possible? Queen b6. That looks so fishy. Okay. I mean, I'll buy it. I mean, I'm not going to say it's good or anything, but, I mean, you've got my interest. I'll just play king h1 and then play e4 next move. And okay, he plays d4. But why didn't you play that in the first place instead of inserting queen b6 and king h1? That was interesting. I think I've had this position on the board once. Um, what is this position? Very unclear. This pawn structure is just a complete mess. Um, C4 comes to mind, C4, A3, B4. At some point, playing a Benko, E3 comes to mind. Very, very complicated structure. One thing I do want to do is move my bishop eventually, so a move like A, Rook, B1 is not fun, but I might have to play it. Okay, let's play a3 first. I think I have a nice idea. He's going to play rook d8 here. No doubt about that. He's going to play rook d8. And then I have to start basically trying to rip open the king side with probably a flat out g4 is necessary in that kind of position. g4 might be on f6. Wow. Not going to lie, guys. I did not expect that move at all. How bad is g4? At, let's see, g4, e5, f5. How bad is that for me? I don't know. Let's play h3 first and prepare it. Why not? Yep, yep, yep. Wait, can I go g4 here? g4 is just bad here, right? Because I dropped the pawn. Okay. F, and now we're just going to push our g pawn to a very nice square. Looks like a king's Indian with reverse colors. White is going to destroy, black is going to destroy me on the king side here. And by destroy, I mean completely obliterate everything that is over here. But at least I have an idea over here with queen uh, to e1, queen to h4. e3 is probably not a bad idea to prevent knight c4. c4, b4 is pretty good for black, right? Has to be okay. He's attacking the pawn. That's pretty direct, no doubt. That is a pretty direct move.
maybe knight h2, right? Knight h2, g5, knight g4 is the ideal plan. I'm not really thinking about any tactics at the moment. I don't think there are any tactics in this kind of position just yet. Okay, uh, now I need to really swing over my pieces towards the king side very quickly. Queen e1 is a nice multi purposeful move. I'll be able to play bishop d2, threatening the trapping of his knight. Um, he's got to be, he's got to watch out for that right now. I'm threatening bishop d2. That's an interesting theme. I think, yeah, he has to move here. And, wait, what? I didn't, wait, bishop d2 just, bishop d2, bishop c7, aha. Wait, bishop d2, but still, this structure is just very nice for, for white, right? Mm, I don't even, I don't care about his queen a6 move, whatever. He can play whatever he wants because I'm gonna go g5 and go for the attack. There's no way he's gonna take the pawn, but oh, he's gonna go there. Oh, 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 I see, I see. But that, I don't know if I really care. Yeah, I, I don't think I really care. My position is very nice here. Wow. I'm not sure why he took there. That that is a very dangerous move. Knight g4, queen h5, four just looks like an attack written right all over it, right? Isn't this kind of an attack? No? Or am I going crazy here? Probably I'm going crazy. Um See a4, man, man. The 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 wait. Bishop d2. If I retreat this bishop, I can probably squeeze out a tempo here. You can't go uh, knight c6 because of a4. That's a nice trap. But the main idea is b6 has to be played, right? B6. And now I can probably play something to the g file now. That's my idea. And now I can go knight g4 and somehow build up pressure. I'm going b4 in this position. Hell no to you. He's going to see. I'll just go back with my bishop. I'm fine with that. Now this knight is getting somewhere, but I don't know if I really care. I mean, this knight can go to e3 for all I care. I'm not sure if, it, if I uh, really care about its position there. Yeah, I don't think I do really care. I got a very very nice pieces placed on the king side. He certainly is going to destroy me there, though. Uh, this much was clear. I mean, this, this is close to, like, a dangerous attack, though. And this is very close to being just lights out to, for being black. It's, like, almost... I always waste my time. I know I'm on. I'm just terrible, guys. I'm terrible at chess. Queen. I mean, knight of six is very dangerous, right? Now oh, let's go for it. That looks fun. He's telling me I'm slow. Well, I'm sorry. I'll move faster now. Okay, so he drops the exchange here. Okay, I mean that that's an exchange. I mean, what can he do? I'll I'll take what I can get. Um, yeah, you know, queen h4 and not threatening bishop g7 and rook g1, right? But that looks very dangerous. Probably has to go. I don't know. This this position just looks very very uncomfortable. Um. Not really sure what to do here. Let's just drop the bishop back. I'm not sure how bad this is. I'm probably going to drop something somewhere, guys. I'm not really sure where it is, though, yet. Ah, oh, I see a d3. Aha. Uh -huh. 
night ticks there. Oh, that's also hanging. Wait. Ticks. 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 Yeah, I'm just dropping here. Yikes. Yep. Yep. That's just not holdable for, for white. Ah, oh, man. What the heck. Damn, that's just too much. I can probably just resign the game. E4 now. Ugh. I mean, ah, uh, King, ah, uh, Marauder, whatever. Uh, it's just, just terrible. Ugh. I was hoping for King d5, but, I mean, he can do whatever he wants, and he just wins the game right now. And I'll just, whatever, push all the pawns, just mow me down. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have much of a chance here. Ugh. Well, we're gonna go for that one last threat. If he promotes, let's see if he goes C2. No, he doesn't. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go here and I don't know. I don't have any entry scores. I'm just going to resign. Well, let's see. Should I continue? Let's see how much time I've wasted. Let's see, we're 47 minutes in. Wow. Time flies by. Didn't even notice that. Um, let's see where I went wrong. I'm, I'm confused. Like That was, position was good for white. Certainly here, I mean, I should have something much better than that. I mean, that Knight of Six didn't look great, but Queen H4 seemed good. Ah, uh, yeah, why didn't I see that one? That, that's so obvious. Bishop G7, it's just so obvious. Now he can't take with the queen because of uh, rook g1. Ouch. So king takes. Check. And this king goes out in the open. This is already just mate. Wow. I can't believe I missed that. It's very disappointing. Oh, it's so obvious too. Oh. Ah. Man, oh man. I need a break. Dang it. But this position, let's see this position actually. Maybe this position isn't that clear. Of course it's clear, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Bishop H5, right? And the F1 go, comes home. Yeah, that's not. I thought Black could have mustered up something here in the queen side with a lot of these pass pawns, but I mean, White just has a huge attack, right? I mean, Bishop F8, Queen D5 is already toast for Black. D4 drops. And notice that you can't go uh, King H8 because of um, this mate right here. So that's just completely dead for for Black. Dang it. Alright guys, I'll just cancel the recording now. Thanks for watching if you if you chose to watch. I hope you learned a little bit about uh about playing with the F pawn. I mean it's very uh very interesting stuff. This type of structure with the pawn on E4 can get I, I've only had this like twice in 
this kind of structure twice, maybe three times, but um, definitely going for this quick G, this king side advance is the idea for, for white. So hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for watching.